Hey kids. Sorry about that. I'm cooking brownies for my friend T-Rex. They have a party each year called the Equivalent Fraction Party. It is my job to bake the brownies before they get too hungry. Hey, I'm coming. Just give me a minute. Wait. Do you smell something? Uh-oh. I think I burned the brownies. Why don't you guys learn about equivalent fractions while I fix this mess? Today we are learning about equivalent fractions. The word equivalent really just means equal or the same. Here we have two rectangles. We can see that they are exactly the same size but are divided up differently. Let's write the fractions for these rectangles and start with the top one. The denominator shows the total amount of parts. So how many pieces is the rectangle cut into? Eight pieces. Good job! Now for the numerator, we want to know how many pieces are colored green. There are two pieces. Our fraction is two-eighths. Can you tell me what the fraction is for the bottom rectangle? The fraction is one-fourth. Great job! Did you notice that the pieces in this rectangle are different than the rectangle above it? Let's look at these two fractions. We have two-eighths and one-fourth. They don't look the same, but pay attention to the rectangles. Do the green parts of the rectangle look equal? Yes, you're right, they are equal. These two fractions are equivalent fractions. The amount colored green is the same amount. Even though the numerators and denominators are different, the fractions are the same or equal to each other, which make two-eighths and one-fourth equivalent fractions. Let's take a look at another math concept. This is fun stuff. Here we have one whole circle and the fraction 1 over 1. This might seem strange because there is one complete circle with no separate parts colored. Should this really be just the number 1? Or is 1 over 1 correct? The answer is both are correct. 1 over 1 is the same as saying the whole number 1. We have one part over one whole. Look here, the circle is now broken into three equal pieces. The numerator shows all the green parts, which is three, and the denominator shows the total amount of pieces, which is also three. The fraction is still one whole circle. Three thirds is the same or equal to one. Wow, that is awesome stuff. Now let's look at something really cool. Here we have three circles and we are going to write or express this as a fraction. Here we have a fraction of 3 over 1. This might look kind of weird because the denominator is smaller than the numerator. With the earlier problems we were looking at fractions or parts of one whole. The denominator of 1 shows the whole cake. We have one whole piece, but the interesting part is that we have three whole cakes, and that is why the numerator shows 3. So 3 over 1 is equal to the whole number 3. You might be thinking that is kind of hard to understand. Shouldn't the fraction be 3 over 3 because there are three whole circles? Well, that is not true because we just learned that 3 over 3 is the same or equal to 1. So in order to write three whole circles into a fraction, you would write 3 over 1. Great job! Let's take a look at a problem you might encounter. Here we have the fraction on the left, 1 half is equal to blank over 4. We need to find the numerator that goes in the empty box. There are different ways you can do this, but I want to use a drawing. Here are two rectangles. The rectangle on the left will be the one representing the 1 half. To make the rectangle represent 1 over 2, we need to divide it into two pieces because the denominator is 2. The one green part is the number 1 in the numerator. We now have represented the fraction 1 half. The rectangle on the right, we don't know what the numerator will be, but we do know that the fractions are equal because of the equal sign. So let's start by making the rectangle look like the fraction on the left. Both rectangles are showing 1 half. We know that the denominator is 4 on the right side, which says that the rectangle should be divided into 4 equal parts. Let's divide the two parts we have in half to get 4 equal parts. 
we now have four parts. To find the numerator, all we need to do is count the green parts of the rectangle. How many are there? We have two green parts of the rectangle. So the fraction is 1 half equals 2 fourths. Great job! By using a drawing, we figured out how to find a missing number in equivalent fractions. You guys rock! Thanks so much guys for all your help. The T-Rex party went well and nobody got eaten, so that's good. I am exhausted. We will see you guys later. Goodbye. No, Rexy, no more brownies. Fine, but this is the last batch of brownies. Hey guys, you have a few options here. If you want to subscribe, click the red button below. If you want to watch more awesome stuff, you can click the video on my right or on my left. If you want to check out our awesome new math game called Mage Math, click the link below. You might want to hurry and choose though, because I can't hold on forever. Hurry, choose, uh-oh.